in just a few. They have a great patio at Chappie's. They do. Well. I frequent both <laughs> Taco Mama and Chappie's quite often. <laughs> Two great places, and you can go out to eat and support a good cause at the same time tomorrow here to explain the heart of Alabama Food Bank is Morgan Menifee, along with Michael Costanza, co-owner of Chappie's Deli. Morgan, explain what's happening tomorrow for the food bank. So we are having our day of giving, which is actually um, spearheaded to promote Child Hunger Month. Um, is during March. There's a lot of um, funds and initiatives that were not done and funded for our children this summer, and so we're getting ahead of that. So we've asked restaurants in our 12 county coverage area to partner with us this year. They're donating a percentage of their receipts that day, so we really want people to go out and um, know that they're doing it for a good cause and eating out. And so how exactly will those funds be raised by eating out? Um, each uh, restaurant will be giving a percentage of their proceeds that day, whatever percentage they want. We are still open to taking um, restaurants who want to participate. So call us or get um, on our website and let us know. Uh, and then our list will be on our website so that uh, people can go and see. Of course, Chappies is participating. Yes. Well, Why did you want to sign up and be part of this? Well, you know, we what our motto is serve with love. We have a longer, but serve with love. And so this is a great way to reach out to the community. And you know, it pulls my heartstrings when we hear about thousands of children who are hungry in our region, in our area. So the food bank used to be called Montgomery Area Food Bank, now Heart of Alabama Food Bank, uh, you know, has does magic with food and spreads it out where people need it, kids especially. And so Everybody makes it easy. Tomorrow, come to any Chappies, and a little bit of what you spend goes to the food bank and helps feed the, the young kids. You know, five Chappies, uh, Montgomery and Auburn and Perry Hill Pepper Tree and at Baptist Hospital, and now featuring at the Pepper Tree store, Gigi's Cupcakes, <laughs> and uh, soon to be at all the Chappies. But it's a great way to serve the community. It's what we do. So come out to Chappie's and we share that with the food bank and feed young kids. So even the Auburn location is participating. Yeah, the whole Chappie's family is participating. And so we will do whatever Mr. David Branco, and they introduced me, thank you, as a co-owner, but I, I am <laughs> the past director of operations. I'll take it, but no, I, you know, I'm a I'm You're a You're the bus. face of Chappie. Uh, I'll take that, I'll take that. I used to say I'm the director of operations. That allows me to bus tables in all five stores. <laughs> but, so Chappie's Deli, big into the community, as everybody knows, loves the food bank. So come out to any Chappie's Deli tomorrow, and part of that that you spend goes to support the food bank and these guys are concentrating on children in our community that go to bed hungry that don't have enough food to eat and I don't have that problem <laughs> but a lot of young people do and so we want to help the food bank to support the kids that need a good meal. So you said Chappies. Where are some of the other restaurants yes, participating? Yes, several other in our areas and um, we have Vintage Hospitality Group, that's Ravella, Vintage Year, we have um, Gosh, lots, um, Shane's Rib Shack, um, Taco Mama, uh, there's a long list that's uh, on our website. But again, there are still openings, and if you want your restaurant to participate, please let us know. Is there anything we need to check on our ticket to make sure that those funds go? Yeah, uh, you just come in and eat, it, it'll be everything. Catering to go, GG's, all, anything you spend at Chappie's, then Mr. David will take a little slice of that and send it to the food bank. That's so great, and March is Child Hunger Month, and. Do a lot of children experience food insecurity here in our area? Yes, absolutely. You know, food is one of the first things that people let go. They may pay their their bills, their mortgage, their rent, or their or their car, and then they go without food. And then therefore children go without food. There's also a lot of programs that they have when they are in school, and so our summer months are coming up. And as I said, even statewide, there's a lot of programs that have not been funded this year, and so there will be a lot of hungry kids. We saw some pictures of the food bank inside a little while ago, and I was on the board of directors a long time ago when I was at Sahar, a long time ago, But and they've grown so much. It is a phenomenal operation. Mm -hmm. Huge freezer space, dry storage space. Food comes from everywhere. I mean, truckloads and trainloads, and they distribute it to all sorts of organizations that are helping those that need it. It comes from everywhere, and it's going everywhere. You cover yeah. over half the that's states. What You're the, really reaching a lot of families. That's really the, the education education of what the food bank does. You know, we really are the safety net in our community for our nonprofits and food pantries. Most people are familiar with the church food pantry, but they may not be um, familiar with what we do. And so we procure that food and then we are able to distribute it throughout our 12 counties and we oversee 35. And sometimes those church food banks 
are supplied by the mm -hmm. food bank. And so like our St. Bede's, we have a food bank one day a week or whatever, and that food is coming from the food bank. So there are all kinds of agencies out there that are supported by the food bank and do their thing at the very local level. These guys gather it, these guys hold it, and then distribute it. And it, it, it's phenomenal. It's an amazing operation. We we hope folks show up and eat tomorrow. I know you've made dinner and lunch plans very easy for me, but if mm -hmm. they can't make it out tomorrow, what are other ways that they can support the food bank? Uh, there's lots of ways you can support the food bank. Um, you can come and volunteer, have a group. Um, even one person individually can come and join a group at the food bank to help volunteer. You can make a donation online to um, this program or any of our other programs that we have. We appreciate your support. We appreciate both of you being here. Thank you so much. Thanks, Thanks. for having us.